So welcome to uh, 2db604, software architecture. This is a short introduction to the setup for the course uh, spring 2021. So my name is Jesper Andersson and I'm the responsible teacher uh, this year. So uh, the course setup is, is uh, well, you can explain it in, in one picture. Uh, we divide a theoretical and practical part more or less equally. Um, if you look at the theoretical part, uh, uh, the examination is um, well to covered in a home exam, while the practical uh, part is is uh, entirely covered by the assignments. And then we have a small overlap uh, with the theoretical also in the assignments. Um, as you will see, the, the setup is, is uh, to a large extent based on, on self-studies. And uh, the, the uh, theoretical part and, and uh, uh, the assignments, well, to a large extent, uh, we expect you to invest time in, in reading the book, have a look at lectures and, and uh, other uh, materials we, we point you to, uh, prepare uh, answers to, to uh, uh, questions uh, that uh, we provide. So uh, we'll more or less manage your own studies. And then we will support you with uh, practical uh, tutoring sessions, where you can can find get answers to, to questions related to, to the book and also to the assignments. So uh, before we move on, well, let's have a look at the objectives for the for the course. As you see, this is a, a an introduction to to uh, software architecture, and software architecture is is about designing software, designing software systems. And, and as we all know, software development is, uh, to a large extent, a group activity. You're, you're involved in, in teams and projects, and it means that uh, in these projects and in the teams, you make many design decisions. And some of these design decisions uh, have an effect on the entire project or on the entire team. And uh, in order to, to uh, make sure that, that everyone in the team or in the project uh, follows and, and understands these decisions, well, you have to separate them out. And, and uh, that's, that is what you do uh, at the architecture level. So uh, the objective, objectives here is to, to, to to a large extent, to, to, to study these uh, uh, types of uh, decisions. So uh, how to organize uh, your uh, software systems, uh, certain mechanisms that you design into your systems in order to manage some of these, these challenges that uh, affect the entire system or a large part of it. So uh, after this, course, you should have learned uh, the basics, but you should also have learned some of the specifics. Uh, we will not delve into all details, but, but the idea here is that after the course, you should be able to uh, identify and specify requirements, architectural requirements, and take these requirements and analyze them and uh, derive a design based on, on patterns and tactics uh, to form a, a strategy for a specific concern. We will come back to all this in, in, a, in, in the lecture, so don't worry. Uh, the content, well, of course, we will introduce you to software design. This will more or less be a recap of, of what you should know from, from previous courses. It's part of the prerequisites. But of course, we will introduce you to, to the concept of software architecture. 
then we will provide you with an overview of, of various ways to, to describe architecture and also to document architectural views. Then, as I mentioned, we, we will go through how to organize your uh, architectures and, and uh, uh, use styles and patterns while doing that. We will also look at, at uh, tactics, which is a, a, a uh, another more operational view on, on uh, the architecture. And then we will look at various uh, practical implementations of, of software architecture, like software product lines, which is a, a way to, to reuse and increase the, the reuse levels in, in your projects. And all this, of course, is about designing strategies uh, and evaluating these strategies to, to make sure that you make the right architectural decisions, the architectural design decisions for your projects and for your teams. So uh, in base, uh, in, well, in principle, software architecture is about managing concerns. Uh, when it comes to, to uh, uh, the first part here, uh, the stakeholder, uh, any software uh, development product has a number of stakeholders involved. It can be the customer, it can be the, the, the architect, the designer, the, the requirements engineers, the testers, uh, the programmers, etc. Et and, and what's important here is that, that these have different concerns. They have concerns that are overlapping in the sense that, that they have the same concern. But, but it's important that, that when you make the decisions about how to, to address these concerns, for instance, uh, security or performance or uh, functionality, well, you have to make sure that, that the decisions uh, meet the expectations of all stakeholders so that you end up in a win-win situation because if you make decisions regarding for instance performance that uh, meet some stakeholder uh, expectations but not all well you have a problem so so um, in software architecture well we focus on these decisions that that have a an impact on on many stakeholders we say that they are uh, so to say, overarching uh, decisions. In the 2021 instance, we, we continue to, to uh, flip the classroom. Uh, we use recorded, it's not lectures, it's more lessons, for, and, and then we spend more time on tutoring and discussions in smaller groups. We believe that this is much more efficient. Uh, and so instead of having 90 minute lectures we have shorter uh, recorded lessons and then we can invest the time in, in smaller groups and you will have uh, lots of opportunities to to uh, ask questions and discuss uh, answers uh, in those groups uh, we will also provide detailed reading instructions because the literature we recommend is of course important that you read uh, but in order to, to, to uh, help you process that, that literature, we provide you uh, with detailed reading instructions and study guides. We really encourage reading and reading from day one. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of material and, and in order to, to, to make use of the theory in the practical part, uh, you have to, to, to uh, read up on the material prior to the, to the assignments. Uh, it's not the best approach trying to look for answers when you do the practical assignments. The, the assignment is actually part of an ex examination that you should uh, know certain things when, when, you, when you do the assignment. Uh, we also provide some, some, some simple case studies to illustrate uh, key points, key problems, and of course the solutions. Um, the book 
uh, is software architecture in practice, the third edition. It's a bit uh, old if you look at the date, but the but the the, the concepts, the, the the material is not old. Uh, so so uh, uh, you should get hold of this book. Uh, I often get the question if it's uh, really necessary to buy the book and and my, my standard answer is that well <laughs> it's dif extremely difficult for you to learn everything because we don't cover everything in the lessons. Uh, we can't cover every aspect. It's impossible. Uh, so, so you need the book uh, well and uh, if you want to learn uh, what's required to pass the course. So, uh, since we're flipping the classroom, uh, we have divided uh, the course into seven different themes. And, and we start at the very bottom uh, with the introduction. Uh, then we have architectural requirements. Uh, we look at architectural documentation, uh, patterns, tactics, and then reasoning. And then at the end, we, we have a, a theme where we look at various applications of software architecture. Uh, each theme uh, combines theory and practice, which means that you uh, will be asked to read a, some chapters in the book. Uh, we provide you with the study instructions, uh, study questions, recorded lessons, and then of course the, the tutoring uh, sessions where you can uh, meet uh, course staff and, and uh, other students and, and uh, get answers to your questions and discuss uh, things related to the course. Um, what you have more is uh, in the architecture, uh, each uh, uh, theme here is of course that we, we will um, connect uh, an examination uh, not for each and every theme, but but for some of the themes here, there will be be uh, um, assignments. And uh, if you look at the the format, more detail of each uh, uh, for each uh, uh, theme, uh, there will be the the recorded uh, part, the 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 book with questions, of course. But then we have the uh, the tutoring workshops and and we are currently planned for six one hour opportunities. So it means that that you will have six hours in a small group. Um, in order to to manage this, you will have to to register. Uh, we will provide more information about how to do that uh, in a while uh, on on the the my Moodle uh, course pages. Uh, what you can do here is uh, you can discuss the assignments, you can discuss the project, you can discuss the case studies, the examples we provide, literature, and of course also content in the recorded lectures. But in order to make these, these useful uh, to you, uh, it's important that you come prepared. Uh, if you haven't read the chapters, if, if you haven't looked at the assignments, if you haven't uh, looked at the case studies or the lectures, well, uh, just sitting there uh, listening will not give you very much and you, you will not so to say contribute to, to, to the to the discussions to, to, to the learning environment so so it's important that you you keep on pushing uh, the course forward reading the material answering questions working on the assignments etc uh, speaking about the the examination well uh, we, we plan for five assignments, uh, uh, one on functional decomposition, which is like the first uh, example of how to, to uh, uh, create a, a, a strategy to address a concern. That is more or less allocate functionality in an application on, on, on various components. Uh, then we move on. This is, these are all tentative uh, titles, uh, but we, we, as you see, we slowly but steadily progress uh, towards more and more complex challenges. Then uh, we have a home exam. Um, 
I think it's uh, scheduled for either March 21 or 22. We're currently looking into that. The home exam is, is a, a time boxed uh, session where you get five hours. Uh, the first part is a, a multiple uh, select uh, quiz uh, that we use to, to uh, time limited, uh, that we use to, to, to uh, check up on, on theoretical uh, parts of the course. And then the second part is an essay like uh, Is, is an essay uh, like uh, uh, exam where where you uh, are allowed well it's an open book exam so so uh, um, you will have in principle four hours and 45 minutes or so to to uh, to uh, prepare your answers to 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 four questions um all communication is is uh, described here. We have a, a Slack channel, uh, my Moodle, of course, and then we we use YouTube for for uh, uh, the the recorded lectures. Um, since we don't, we will not stream any lectures except for the for the for the introduction. Uh, we will not use YouTube for streaming this year, but but uh, at least not. Uh, we have not planned for it at, at this point, uh, but you will find the recorded lectures there. So what should you do now? Well, you should uh, move on with uh, the first theme, Introduction to Software Architecture. Uh, look at the lectures, uh, then uh, have a look at the first assignment, uh, look at the study guide and the questions, start by reading the chapters in the book, start answering the questions, and please do this on your own. Don't share a document and answer the questions because this is part of the learning process. And, and if, if you, if you uh, divide that work up on, 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 on uh, several uh, people, well, you will not get that learning process you will get an answer but the, the what's important here is the process to 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 prepare the answer that's part of the the, the learning uh, check out some of the recorded lectures and then of course ask questions and discuss uh, in in, in uh, the different forums the different channels on slack or in my Moodle um, there are some some uh, other questions uh, often uh, I can't register what should I do uh, well, check if you're conditionally admitted. Um, if you're if you're not admitted, uh, you have probably not applied for the course, and that's a different story. Um, but if you're conditionally admitted and and you're not meeting the prerequisites, you need to collect information uh, and argue why you, we should register you, uh, and then uh, send uh, A and B in an email to to me. That's my email address. And, and it's important that you include your, your personal identification number here so that we can process your, your case. So uh, let's start the, the, the journey now and, and uh, learn how to make the right decisions in a, in a complex uh, design environment where we, are, we should balance decisions to meet several stakeholders' uh, expectations with respect to multiple concerns uh, in a structured manner. So that was the uh, introduction. Thank you.